Hello, my name is Christy Bandicamp and I'm an RN and I'm also an instructor for the Nursing Assistant Program at Clackamas Community College. This video is going to give you some information about ostomy care. An ostomy is a surgically created incision that brings an internal organ to the body surface. We'll focus on uh, an ostomy that brings the distal end of the small intestine, which is part of the digestive system, to the resident's abdominal wall. This model is autoostomy. It shows the inside view of the digestive system that has been surgically repaired. The type of ostomy we see here is an ileostomy. The small intestine has been brought to the surface of the abdomen. This opening is called a stoma. Feces and the waste products of the digestive system will be expelled through this opening. I'm going to demonstrate the nursing assistant skill for ostomy care for the established non-acute stoma ostomy. I call this the ABCs of replacing an ostomy bag. A is for assemble equipment. We have the ostomy pouch. This is a two-piece pouch. We have the stoma measurement tool, stoma paste, scissors, absorbent material, gloves, wash basin with washcloth, towel, and soap. B is for the beginning procedure, which are the things like providing for safety and infection control, identifying the patient, and getting their permission, explaining what you're going to do. C is to cut the skin barrier of the ostomy, and we need to cut it so that it fits around the stoma. This is a stoma measurement tool that you can use to um, determine the size. So, because stomas are in different sizes and shapes. So I determine the size, then I'm going to get my um, skin barrier, and then I'm going to cut the hole so that when I put this barrier on it, the, um, there's a hole that will fit over the stoma. Now that I know the measurement, I'm going to mark it on the wafer and cut it. So I can use a pin to get the size. Okay. And then I take my, my dressing scissors and I'm going to cut the hole to be that size. D is for discard. I'm going to take off the old pouch and skin barrier. And to do this, I'm going to need to put on my gloves to follow standard precautions. And then I will gently roll the skin barrier away from the abdomen and the skin. So I'll gently roll that back. And then I'll discard this in the trash. E is for the epidermis and the external organ. I'm now going to cleanse the area. I may need tissue to, to wipe out um, feces or something from the stoma. And then I'm going to take my washcloth with soapy water and I'm going to clean the skin around the stoma. I'll be observing for any skin breakdown, any rashes or irritation, because that would be needed to be reported to the nurse. And then I'll rinse it and pat it dry. F is for fit. Now I'm going to fit the skin barrier around the stoma. First, I'm going to peel back the paper, the, the backing, the sticky part of the skin barrier, and then I'm going to apply a thin film of paste around the opening. Then I will let that dry according to the instructions on the stoma um, paste. Now I'm going to fit the skin barrier over the stoma. I'm going to pull the skin around the stoma taut so there's not wrinkles. I'll place the skin barrier opening over the stoma. And I've centered the opening over the stoma. G is for gentle pressure. 
I'm going to press around the skin barrier so that it seals to the skin. I'm going to start from the bottom and work up toward the top. Gentle pressure from my fingers. Holding this pressure here for one to two minutes to get a nice tight seal. That way liquid from the stoma will not irritate the surrounding skin. H is for hookup. With a two-piece appliance such as this, I'm going to hook up the pouch to the skin barrier. I'll place the flang of the pouch over, to, over the flang of the skin barrier. The bag is at an angle here for a person who's lying in bed and the pouch will be emptied this way. Then I'm going to push down on it to make sure that it's snapped all the way around, has a secure fit. Okay. The last thing is to secure the bottom opening. Hold it. This one has adhesive. Okay. And then for the ending procedures, we're going to place the soiled linens into the laundry bag, the disposables into a plastic bag, rinse and clean the supplies, and return them to the proper drawer in the room. Okay, we're going to leave the resident covered and comfortable, the call light within reach, the bed in the lowest position, and then I'm going to open the privacy curtain and do hand hygiene. Okay, that's it. We've applied a new skin barrier and ostomy bag. Thank you for watching.